driving the 2017 Chevy Bolt, and I'm driving it north on PCH, going up to the Murphy Museum for a, uh, a, a an event, an event that I can't really describe because I'm not really 100% sure exactly what it is. David Neal, who runs the uh, the museum, invited me up. Uh, I know that my friend Mark Sterenberger is going to be giving a talk. Not necessarily that sure what the focus of the event is, but uh, you know when David calls and says, hey, you should be there, who am I to say I can't come? Especially when there's cool cars on display that I can show you guys. But before I do that, I'm going to hit Cafe Lux for a quick jolt. So it's a, it's a, uh, a group of all the museums in, in this county. That's correct. And you're getting together for a big party. That's right. We have 26 museums. Uh, wow, I bet I didn't know. And we include some of our uh, tourist groups who are up to 32 in our brochure. Fantastic. We have a website and um, twice a year we go to a different museum so that all of the docents get out to see what's going on and take advantage of it. And this year David has invited us to this absolutely fantastic uh, Murphy Auto Museum. Mm -hmm. And everybody's trying to figure out which of these cars they're going to drive home. And what's the intention here with having this, this group? Is this to introduce everybody to everything that's going on as far as the museums go? Correct. But we really strongly believe that there's courage in numbers. And so the fact that we all, every year, contribute to a brochure for all of us means sure. that when anybody comes to Ventura County, right. they know the 32 museums that are out there, where they're located, what they well, do. Well, it's interesting because I grew up in Ohio. You know, it's part of Ventura County, and I, I knew of a couple museums. I had no idea that there were that many, and we had a lot of people watching, and now I got lots of other places to go. Exactly, and I think the thing that people don't realize about museums is, like for example, we're in an auto museum, but we also have one related to World War II aircraft. Ah. I'm from the Maritime Museum. Right. Your Ojai Museum is historically related to that city. Sure. You know, I don't, I don't know if most counties do this, but you guys work as a team exactly. to create, to, to, uh, create strength in numbers. In fact, we know that that is not such a fact. Yeah. Um, Mary Schwabauer is the one who founded this 26 years ago with yeah. a group of dedicated docents. And we have looked high and low for a group that's similar, and there is no one in California. Right, so you guys are trailblazing. Here we are. So this is really cool. This is all the museums that exist in Ventura County. They're all getting together as a big group, kind of as a big team. That's not something that normally happens in most counties. And they're kind of formulating a plan to help each other grow 
and prosper and do really well. And uh, it's being held here at the Murphy Museum this time. And in past shows, it's been held at other museums. But I've learned about some museums I didn't even know existed. We're going to put something together. So if, uh, if you come to Wheels and Waves next month or the month after, we're going to try to do something with some of these museums so we can take a drive up Pacific Coast Highway and hit some of them, like the Airplane Museum. They got B-29s and things like that. shows in Europe and USA. He's a guest speaker and commentator at car-related events. He's also an artist and a painter of automotive fine art for private and corporate galleries and car museums. A teacher and a professor at the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena, California, and Art Center Europe in Switzerland from 1987 to 2002. He's also been a juror at uh, many Concordia Elegances uh, across the globe. entertaining as you generally are. Bullshit. <laughs> How did you do uh, on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, the way I feel, uh, maybe about 5. What about you? Nobody was sleeping, so it must yeah, have been a 10. It was great. It was great. Maybe, maybe. Uh, it's but uh, like I said, you know, I, I like to be freewheeling. Yeah. And uh, you can't do that when you, And I didn't want to The, the mic was mic. stuck, I yeah. I was hoping that you'd grab the mic and just start singing in between the crowds. I was trying to do but I'm a little horse, so I yeah. couldn't do it. Yeah, well, now, the, thought, little horses have a hard dancing. time. Maybe I can dance a little bit, but that didn't work either. Well, we appreciate you. It was great. Anyway, it I enjoyed was good. it. Thank yeah. you for you to come. I wouldn't come to your place. <laughs> No way. I mean, That's it, I'm leaving. Much. That's it for hanging out at the Murphy with a couple of amazing cars, all kinds of interesting people. That was a really neat event. And I grew up in Ventura County. I thought there was only a couple of museums. There's uh, 36 museums that are going on up here. It's nuts, but we're going to be able to show you guys some of that stuff over the, in the coming year of the next few vlogs. Now it's time to get out of here.
Happy Halloween! <laughs> Come on, get closer. Keep going, keep going. Did you just do something really weird in the camera? No. Like Halloween type of weird thing? <laughs> Welcome back! Thank you. Kathy went to Hawaii for a short period of time. I did. And um, and you swam with sharks, and you bought me chocolate, which there's not much. There's not much left. That was three times big, and just today I got my first bite. Well, it was technically not a bite because I melted it. You I dipped know, cookies right? into it. It was, it was no. Wait, what are you? It was gross. Mm -hmm. You gonna give me a bite? Mm -hmm. You had your melted chocolate. Put it away. We got stuff to do take here. One more bite. Remember this book I told you guys about? Nope, uh, about Cujo. This, this young lady built Cujo. Why couldn't they get a dog to, uh, you know, to ram his head against the side of a car? I don't know. What, what was you? You went. You went to Hawaii for nine days. You got sick for like four. Not really, kind of two. I started to feel it, but I still did stuff. What was the best part of going to the North Shore? Well, the best part was I got to surf the North Shore. That was pretty cool. At Shark, did you go to Shark's Cove? I did go to Shark's Cove, but that's not a surfing spot. What, where did you surf? I surfed at Chun's Reef, mm -hmm. which if you're a surfer, you've heard of Chun's Reef. And I swam with sharks because I chose to swim with sharks. I paid to <laughs> swim with sharks. And then I got lost when I was driving. I didn't want to eat out alone. So I thought maybe it was, would have been better to bring Tim. <laughs> it would have been a different trip. It would have been different. Yeah, it would have been a lot noisier. But we'll go back. Yeah, thanks. We're going to go again. We're going to do a lot are of stuff. Are you going to swim um, with sharks? Uh, I'm, are you kidding me? I swim with you all the time. <laughs> the sharks could be nothing. I was holding onto the rope that was attached to the boat. And the next day, all my muscles were sore. And I'm like, why are my muscles sore? It's because I was holding onto the rope so the, the hard. The grip of life. Yeah. yeah, and there were like 20 sharks down there, and they were the big ones. You also went to Waimea Falls? I did. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah. 17,000 acres of amazing beauty. Mm -hmm. And then the end has got the falls, and so it was pretty, pretty cool. You only live once, as far as we know, and um, you got to give yourself a little present now and then. Mm -hmm. Also, it gives you time to think. Uh, and a little prelude to Friday's Malibu Vegan Kitchen. What are you doing? I'm doing it on Friday. You're doing it on Friday? Hey, are these pie cards for sale? I forgot. Oh, I know. I'm going to do, you could call it bruschetta, bruschetta, or you could call it avocado toast. How about call it, I'll call it avocado shetta. I'm not going to call it. Avocado shetta. Should have called it Should have been a tomato. Yeah, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make something that's so yummy you kind of want it every night. Can so we have it tonight? It. I don't think we have an avocado. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. You got to have that. Good. Okay. Uh, you got to go now. I want to talk about Hawaii. I'm going to lick your face. I saw turtles too. I'm going to, I'm going to totally lick your face. Ew. Mm. Ah, get out. No, ew. I don't know how this happened, but for some unknown reason, uh, uh, the temperature just kind of heated up again. It, summer has, has jostled back here into Malibu. Today it's about 88 degrees. <sighs> the UPS guy showed up to deliver some packages and I swear to God he was about 50 pounds heavier the day before. Okay, want to circle back uh, to a great time with uh, David Neal and the, and the all the, the great docents up at the Murphy Auto Museum. A very cool thing. You know, not every city uh, or every every county in fact, I don't, I don't know of any county that has done this kind of thing where they, they aggregate all the museums together and they, they pull their resources and they work together to, to make all their museums prosper. What a, what a concept. I mean, God, if we did that as, as a country, imagine what that would be like. You know, we're out there, you know, California is helping Kansas to build something and, and helping Florida and, and uh, Arkansas is helping California. I mean, what a notion. We all help each other to prosper and to do well. Could you imagine such a place? I can. I know you can. Uh, and it starts with us. You know, we have to start that ball rolling in ourselves. You got to do that in your own life. You got to look around in your life and, and who, who needs help? Who, who, who can you reach out to? Who can you compliment? Who can you make feel good today? Well, I was grateful that, uh, that David called me and said, hey, come on up and experience this thing. Listen to uh, Mark Sternberger uh, give his talk and, and hang out and we'll just have a good time, have some lunch. It's always a blast. Okay, that's all I got time for. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the like button. Share this with your friends if, you, if they like cars and all that kind of shenanigans. Our job 
Our job here on the vlog is to help you improve your life through what you love. Your job is to identify what you love, to infuse as much passion and excitement and love into that thing. And voila, like Christmas, it just blossoms, it opens up, and there, there it is, boom. Do what you love, love what you do. We'll see you guys tomorrow.